Hey, what's going on everyone? This is your Mister, and today we are going to be taking a look at how to hack Arcade Ball. Now, Arcade Ball is a new game that has been out for quite a while, and if you like arcade games or have played arcade games in bars or pool clubs or anything like that, you probably would have seen this game in real life. And now this is an exact version of the game in digital life. So uh, we're going to uh, take a look at how to hack this game. So our goal is to get more tickets in order for us to get all the prizes from the start of the game. And uh, so you can uh, purchase each and every ball, each and every uh, table, each and every kind of icons that you want to. And, you know, buy out the whole store, basically. So uh, hacking this game is a little bit different compared to the games that we have already hacked before. You'll need a little bit of few other tools other than just drag and dropping in iPhone Box or iExplorer. So uh, the first thing you will need is, of course, iExplorer or iPhone Box or any other program that you would prefer. The second program that you would need is a plist editor. Now, I'm using Xcode. Uh, you can use Xcode if you have a Mac. Uh, if you don't have a Mac, you will have to find some other plist editor. Uh, I'm pretty sure there are, there are a few plist editors for Windows as well, so you can go ahead and use them. So let's go ahead and hack this game. So once you are already set up and you have everything installed, uh, the first thing you will need to open is iExplorer or iPhone Box. That depends on what you uh, prefer for yourself, what you have on your computer. Uh, if you prefer iPhone Box, that will work perfectly fine. So uh, what we have to do is go ahead and open uh, your iPhone or whatever it is uh, that you want to open and go into apps. Uh, find the app that you need. So I'm going to go ahead and open Arcade Ball for this tutorial and uh, go ahead and go to Library, go to Preferences. And you need to grab the second file called com.mobage.www.a1615. That might be different for you, but uh, the second file, which has a number in it, not the analytics file. So uh, once you have already grabbed the file, just go ahead and drag and drop it on the desktop. Once you have the file, just open the file on Xcode or anything else that you're using as a PLS editor. Uh, once you have that open, ahead and uh, go to the number of tickets so as you can see the number of tickets for me right now is 295,704 but uh, you can go ahead and change it to 500,000 or any number like that now don't go ahead and change a number to like 9 billion something or 1 billion something or even a million because that won't work the game is gonna know that you hacked it and it's gonna reset everything to zero uh, now, uh, even if it does reset everything to zero, you can just uh, grab the old file and put it back. But uh, I would recommend you not to do this. And once you have this set up, just go ahead and go to the file option and save it. So that's pretty much all you need to do. You can also go ahead and uh, change the other values of different things and uh, get those things. I haven't really tried with the other stuff, but uh, if you go ahead and try it, let me know if it, this works and I'll add it to the description below. So once you have saved the file, just go ahead and open iExplorer again, drag and drop this file, and once you drag and drop it, it's going to ask you if you want to replace the file that already exists. Go ahead and replace it, and boom, you're done. So this is basically what you need to do for hacking the game. So now let's go ahead and see how it worked. So once you have that done, uh, go ahead and open the game again, and if you have it in the multitasking uh, thing, go ahead and close it from the multitasking. I don't have it open in the multitasking, so I'm just going to go ahead and open the game. So uh, once you are in the game, you will see that uh, the game refreshes the tickets and now we have 500,000 tickets. So uh, now you can go ahead and purchase anything you want and uh, have fun with the game. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below. It really helps me out a lot. And leave a comment down below if you'd like me to make another video or uh, anything like this sort. If you have any problems with this. Other than that, uh, be sure to subscribe to the video above uh, if you haven't already. And... Uh, Thanks for watching guys, uh, be sure to share this video on Facebook and Twitter and until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.